Well, I know I normally end with this, but injuries, how's the squad? Is everyone okay? Um, yeah, I think so, yeah. No no major knocks from Saturday. Um, I don't know what, as, you know, the, a lot of effort was put in, a lot of hard work, one or two bumps and bruises, but no, nothing that Wes has made me aware of that, uh, that, that should influence tomorrow's team. And that's more like Charlton Town, isn't it, having a fully fit squad? Well, we need it. We haven't got the biggest squad in the world. Um, it's a nice, nice position to be in, so, yeah, we need them all firing. You said after the game you are trying to bring someone in. Is that more likely for Saturday or is yeah, there a chance probably, it'll probably be for Saturday, probably. I, I've, I've, my, our focus is on tomorrow night's game. You know, we're also doing making calls about one or two players' availability. I'm not, I'm not going to rush something through, like I said before. Um, our focus is to try and get three points tomorrow night. Making sure that we get the right team, get the players ready for it, and up for a you know a local derby if you like, and um, making sure that we do everything we can to get to get three points and another win. And do you feel a little bit of momentum beginning to, to grow now? Of course I do. Yeah, I, I, the players are starting to really trust each other and believe in each other, and and that's what it's all about. And I think. Five games unbeaten in the league, it's a testament to that. But you know, we also know that there's plenty to do. There's more hard work and more quality to add, and we've got to tweak parts of our game and and stuff like that. But you know, we're, we're on the, we're on a, an upward curve at the moment. Yeah. And is it easier for you to turn draws into wins than it is to turn defeats into draws? Oh, of course. Um, well, it, whether it's easier or not, it's something we've got to do. You know. Saturday, we, we you know we're just looking there, and you know, to be fair to Newport, they they did a a good job on us first half. Second half, I thought we were a lot better, and um, and and could have scored, could have scored a couple, but we didn't, and we just we just got to make sure that we're as good as we can be all the time. It's I've spoke to a couple of managers at the top of our league this season, um, this morning, and the difference between top and bottom is minimal. It's the difference between every team in the division is, is so small. But it's just trying to be consistent and trying to be as good as you can, as competitive as you can all the time. And um, that's exactly what we've got to be tomorrow. You know, Rovers have got a couple out through suspension. We can't be feeling sorry for them. We've got to be as good as we can be. And only that will be enough for us to win the game. I would imagine, bearing in mind their league position, there'll be a fair amount of tension on their part as well. Yeah, yeah I'm sure there will be. But, you know, we've got to worry about ourselves, our own league position, our own performances, which is what we've done particularly of late, and um, we've just got to make sure we're as, we're as good as we can be. We're, we're all fresh and ready and, and raring to go. They'll be pumped up, you know, they'll be physically strong. They've got some young players who've got energy, they've got some bite about them. They'll be difficult to beat, but and they'll, they'll have a game plan, I'm sure. But we, we want to make sure that we deal with that and, and um, play with lots of energy, play with lots of desire, play with lots of spirit that, that the fans want to see and, and, and lots of quality too. And obviously you're pitting your wits against former manager of yours and of this club. Yeah. Does it get easier the second or third time when you do it? Um, ask me after the game, you know. John, John's, you know, a great football man and you know, well respected around this club. Um, it's 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 a tough league as at the moment, and um, you know it'd be good to see him, but it, it's it's you know John won't be any sentiment towards me or this football club and. And it's the same goes for me, you know. I'll, I'll have a drink with him afterwards, um, and I say I talk to him, you know, quite regularly. But nothing, um, you know, nothing will stop me wanting to beat him and him wanting to beat my football club. So, you know, there'll be battles at quarter to eight tomorrow night. Jermaine obviously came on as a yeah. sub on Saturday. Is he pushing for a start? Yeah, oh, without a doubt, yeah, yeah. Just got to decide where we're going. Um, a couple of decisions to make and. We'll make him. Thank you. Good luck. Cheers. He's not a bad player to bring on, though, is he, Jermaine? No, he he's made not. a big difference on Saturday. He, he did make a difference. Um, whether he has that impact from the start, right at this moment with his um, with his coming back from injury, you know, we'll have to see. We'll have to assess. We'll have to decide upon. It's something that we've been talking about. Um, when does he come back into the team? When does he? Do we keep him on the bench for another fifty minutes, fifty-five minutes, and unleash him when people are starting to get tired? It's it's something we've got to we've got to decide where we're going today. Yeah, does he? Do you think he can fit into the diamond, which has obviously oh, yeah, got you the five games unbeaten? Well, 
against Morecambe, he played on the right side of it uh, against Dagenham and the first couple of times we played it, he played at the top of it. So I have no doubt he can play in the diamond. He can play in anywhere. So I'm sure it won't be long before he's back in the team. Yeah. And how difficult is it when you miss out on a couple of loans? You now you've obviously only got a few days before the deadline. Is yeah. it quite difficult to it's make sure yeah. you don't get the you know rushing yeah. to the wrong one? Yeah, it is. Yeah. So I'm just like I say, I'm just taking my time. Like I say, I missed out on a couple. Um, we'll have something in by Thursday without a doubt. It's just getting the right one for the right money and and um, the right one for our squad. Yeah, and talking about the, the amount of goals that have stopped going in, you, it's probably the first time on Saturday where you've you've not been clinical and you've you've not had a problem scoring goals for much of this season, have you? So, do you think that sorting out the other end was the the main thing? Yeah, I think, I think so. I, I always know this team will score goals. You know, I know we didn't Saturday, but, but we we create plenty of chances. Um, over the last few seasons we've been notorious for keeping clean sheets and being a, having a mean defence but that obviously hasn't been the case this season um, so it had to be addressed and, and I, thought, I feel we'd have addressed it I think Stevie was excellent um, I think the whole back four were, were pretty good you know they had the first half after just seeing it again they had quite a bit of the ball um, but, but, but only once did I think they really hurt us or, or have been in a position to hurt us. I think most of it was in front of us. Stevie won every header that was put in the box. Troy and the two full-backs mopped up around him and, and dealt with most things. So, obviously, the more clean sheets, the better. We'd obviously, we, we're trying to improve every every facet of our team at the moment. Yeah, and you've had injuries at the back, uh, but if you yeah. can keep these four fit, do you think it could be yeah, getting I mean, used to playing each other a bit I more? said to him before Wickham, I'm going to give you a run of games. You know, the back four, you know, we... we We'd made the choice. Um, it was the four that we were going with. We we worked Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday with them for Saturday. Did the same last week, just bits and pieces. We should keep reiterating stuff. Um, winning teams are built on a solid foundation, and if we can have that, more like that Saturday, more like Wickham, then then we can start climbing the table for sure. Yeah, there's been times where you said you'd only bring someone in if they're going to go straight into the team, but at the moment, in that I, I, respect, yeah, you're looking for cover. Well, yeah, that was that was the. Th that was the thing. Not not necessarily just cover. They all they all need competition for places always. Um, but as we speak right now, my back four picks itself for for Tuesday, and then and then we'll see where we go from that. I, I want to be consistent with them, and then hopefully they can be consistent with with us, and and performances can match Saturdays in terms of keeping clean sheets and being organised and competitive. Yeah, after last year's game, uh, John Moore said the Cheltenham fans were pretty quiet. Generally, so do you think uh, they could play a big part? Because obviously, uh, Rovers are going to bring a massive. Yeah, massive. they'll bring a big contingent. I'm sure they'll be noisy, um, very vocal, and, and that, I think that's brilliant. It's, it'd be great if our supporters really try to get on top of them, as, as we're going to try and get on top of John's team as well. Yeah. Thank you. Cheers.